Welcome to the Top 10 S Box. Today we have listed the 10 best zombie movies of all time for you. Let's get started. World War Z is at the 10th place of our list. World War Z is a 2013 American action horror film directed by Mark Forster, from a story by Carnahan and J. Michael Straczynski. It stars Brad Pitt as Jerry Lane, a former United Nations investigator who travels the world seeking a solution for a sudden zombie pandemic. Reviews were positive for Brad Pitt's performance and for the film as a realistic revival of the zombie genre, but there was criticism of what some felt was an anticlimax, outdated CGI, and a lack of faithfulness to the source material. Regardless, the film was a commercial success, grossing over $540 million against a production budget of $190 million, making it the highest-grossing zombie film of all time. Zombieland is at the ninth place of our list. Zombieland is a 2009 American post-apocalyptic zombie comedy film directed by Ruben Fleischer in his theatrical debut and written by Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick. The film follows a geeky college student making his way through a post-apocalyptic zombie apocalypse, meeting three strangers along the way and together taking an extended road trip across the southwestern United States in an attempt to find a sanctuary free from zombies. Zombieland was a critical and commercial success, grossing more than $75.6 million in U.S. and surpassing the 2004 film Dawn of the Dead as the top-grossing zombie film in the U.S. until World War Z in 2013. The film was extremely successful in home sales, grossing $54 million, which is half of the film's box office. A sequel, Zombieland Double Tap, was released in 2019. Dawn of the Dead is at the eighth place of our list. Dawn of the Dead is a 2004 American action horror film directed by Zack Snyder in his featured directorial debut with a screenplay by James Gunn. Set in Milwaukee, the film follows a group of survivors who take refuge in an upscale suburban shopping mall during a zombie apocalypse. Filming took place from June 9 to September 6 of 2003 on location in Toronto, Ontario, Canada where a now-defunct shopping mall that was slated for demolition was used. Dawn of the Dead was released by Universal Pictures on March 19, 2004, topping the box office in its United States opening weekend, and went on to gross $102.3 million worldwide against a budget of $26 million. Retrospective reviews have called it Snyder's best film and placed it among the best zombie and horror films ever made. The Return of the Living Dead is at the seventh place of our list. The Return of the Living Dead is a 1985 American comedy horror film written and directed by Dan O'Bannon. The film tells the story of how a warehouse owner, accompanied by his two employees, mortician friend and a group of teenage punks, deal with the accidental release of a horde of unkillable, brain-hungry zombies onto an unsuspecting town. The film is known for introducing multiple popular concepts to the zombie genre, zombies eating specifically brains, as opposed to eating any form of human flesh, zombies being invulnerable to a gunshot to the head, zombies being capable of at least some level of thought, and zombies running at full speed rather than being shambling hulks. The film was a critical success and performed moderately well at the box office, and the film has spawned four sequels. Reanimator is at the sixth place of our list. Reanimator is a 1985 American comedy horror film, directed by Stuart Gordon and produced by Brian Yuzna. The film stars Jeffrey Combs as Herbert West, a medical student who has invented a reagent which can reanimate deceased bodies. He and his classmate Dan Kane begin to test the serum on dead human bodies and conflict with Dr. Carl Hill who is infatuated with Kane's fiancé and wants to claim the invention as his own. Filmed in Hollywood, the film originally was released without a rating from the Motion Picture Association of America, and was later edited to obtain an R rating. It garnered its largest audience through the unrated cuts release on home video. 
It is the first film in the Reanimator film series, followed by Bride of Reanimator in 1990 and Beyond Reanimator in 2003. Released to mostly positive reviews, Reanimator has since been considered a cult film. Train to Busan is at the fifth place of our list. Train to Busan is a 2016 South Korean action horror film directed by Yun Sang-ho. The film mostly takes place on a high-speed train from Seoul to Busan as a zombie apocalypse suddenly breaks out in the country and threatens the safety of the passengers. The film premiered in the midnight screening section of the 2016 Cannes Film Festival on May 13. On August 7, the film set a record as the first Korean film of 2016 to break the audience record of over 10 million theatergoers. The film serves as a reunion for Gong Yoo and Young Yoo Mi, who both starred in the 2011 film The Crucible. A sequel, Peninsula, was released in South Korea on July 15, 2020. Shaun of the Dead is at the fourth place of our list. Shaun of the Dead is a 2004 zombie comedy film directed by Edgar Wright. Peg stars as Shaun, a downtrodden salesman in London who was caught in a zombie apocalypse with his friend Ed. It is the first installment in the Three Flavors Cornetto trilogy, followed by Hot Fuzz and The World's End. It was met with acclaim and commercial success, grossing $30 million worldwide on a budget of $6.1 million and receiving two nominations at the British Academy Film Awards. It was ranked third on the Channel 4 list of the 50 greatest comedy films and quickly acquired a cult following. In film studies, the film is seen as a product of post-9-11 anxiety, as well as a model for transnational comedy. The spread of zombieism in the film has been used as a modeling example for disease control. 28 Days Later is at the third place of our list. 28 Days Later is a 2002 British post-apocalyptic horror film directed by Danny. It stars Killian Murphy as a bicycle courier who awakens from a coma to discover the accidental release of a highly contagious, aggression-inducing virus has caused the breakdown of society. 28 Days Later was released on 2002 to critical acclaim and financial success. Grossing more than $82.7 million worldwide on its modest budget of $8 million, it became one of the most profitable horror films of 2002. Despite Boyle not considering it a zombie film, 28 Days Later is credited with reinvigorating the zombie genre of horror film and influencing a revival in the decade after its release, with its fast-running infected and character-driven drama since its release, it has been featured in several best-of-film lists. The film was followed by 2007 sequel 28 Weeks Later, a 2007 graphic novel titled 28 Days Later, The Aftermath, which expands on the timeline of the outbreak, and a 2009-2011 comic book series titled 28 Days Later. Day of the Dead is at the second place of our list. Day of the Dead is a 1985 American post-apocalyptic zombie horror film written and directed by George A. The third film in Romero's Night of the Living Dead series, it stars Laurie Cardill, Terry Alexander and Richard Liberty as members of a group of survivors of a zombie apocalypse sheltering in an underground bunker in Florida, where they must determine the outcome of humanity's conflict with the undead horde. Day of the Dead grossed $34 million worldwide against a budget of approximately $4 million. Although the makeup effects were praised, the film initially did not match the critical and commercial success of its predecessors. Like its predecessors, Day of the Dead has garnered a cult following and inspired numerous parodies and homages. The film was remade twice, the first is the 2008 film of the same name, and the second is Day of the Dead, Bloodline. Dawn of the Dead is at the top of our list. Dawn of the Dead is a 1978 zombie horror film written and directed by George A. Romero. In the film, a phenomenon of unidentified origin has caused the reanimation of the dead, who prey on human flesh. 
David Emge, Scott Reiniger, and Galen Rostar as survivors of the outbreak who barricade themselves inside a suburban shopping mall amid mass hysteria. Despite facing difficulties with various national censorship boards the film proved to be a major success at the box office, grossing $66 million worldwide against its estimated budget of $640,000. Dawn of the Dead has received widespread critical acclaim since its initial release and is widely considered to be one of the greatest horror films ever made, as well as the greatest zombie film. Dawn of the Dead was followed by four official sequels, beginning with 1985's Day of the Dead and a separate series of unofficial Italian-made sequels, beginning with 1979's Zombie 2. We have come to the end of the video, do not forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.